that's called eating it right there, boys and girls. How about that one? <laughs> Nice fish, healthy, cranking in the winter. Water's cold, it's 46. We've had some cold fronts come in after the warm day we had cranking the other day. Back out here trying it again. No, we just, what I look for this time of year is a lot of 45 degree banks, bank where I can sit in like eight, nine, 10 foot of water, but throw to the bank. I'm using a medium light uh, Tatula, Daiwa Tatula rod and it's like 12 pound line because there is some cover around and always check you need to see if you need to retie but basically i'm just winding it down through the cover and i'm trying to get out there and reach those rock those last few rocks out there in like seven eight foot of water i feel like that's where they're at and take the crankbait and kind of wind it down and when i hit one of those rocks kind of pause and just pull it across there that's exactly what happened on that last fish i was kind of winding down i kind of slowed my wind down because i've got down where i could just start hitting those last couple of rocks and I kind of slowed my speed down and he jumped all over it and you saw how good he ate it. So a lot of times just changing your speed, slowing it down a little bit and that can uh, lead to actually triggering that fish into biting. So water's real dirty. They can't see very far away. They have to feel it, hear it. Little John's got a little bit of a knocker in it. You can hear that. But uh, no, it's a great springtime crankbait. Pop, 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 keep popping, keep shaking. And I'm gonna catch a fish off of that. Look at that. Are you even kidding me right now? Wow. I was going up there to get it. I was popping my line off. I was hung on a piece of wood up there. I just kept popping, popping, popping. The reason you wanna get your bait on hung is because if you're hung on something, that's probably something that would hold a fish. I mean, that fish saw me pop it off there. He ain't even got it in the mouth. This is gonna be dangerous, but I got him. Look at that, game off. <laughs> it's a keeper bass too. So I was popping that lure off of there, trying to get that fish, uh, or trying to get that crankbait unhung. And I really didn't want to go up there, so I kept popping as I was easing up closer to it. I finally got it to come loose, pulled it down, got back into my retrieve again, and one just jumped all over it. He probably saw it, heard it popping on that stump, and was waiting for it to come off. <laughs> he made a swipe at it, and I got him, so. That's the other reason I always change hooks on, on uh, this is probably four trips now with these treble hooks. I'm probably gonna check them when I get home. I may look at changing them. But uh, that, that one, I got a front Gamagatsu Nano treble that Aaron Martin's one in the front. And in the back, I got a Gamagatsu EWG hook. So I kind of like that combo on that crankbait. It makes it pretty sexy. So I'll tell you what's really funny. It's February. This water was 50 degrees four days ago, five days ago. Now it's 46.6 and it's dirtier. And nobody's back here fishing because the water's dirty and cold. And I've had two quality keepers and lost a bigger fish, which I'm guessing was a big bass. Sometimes it's amazing to me how good they get it because I would just think, you know, they, they feel the vibration, they hear the noise, and they kind of run over there and get after it. And they'll have it all the way down their throat, and then the next one you hook, he'll have one little bitty hook in his mouth, and the other hooks are on the outside of his face or something, and, and you just don't always get them. The more you can save yourself having to go up there and get your bait, the more chances you have to catch one you run your boat up there to get your lure free, you messed up the big old stretch of that bank. I actually don't mind to fish dirty water, especially pretty spawn. The fish want to come up in the water column to warm up, warm up their eggs, especially the females. And uh, they can do that a lot more comfortably when there's some color in the water. They're not as spooky. They, things can't see them as well. And, so they'll get up there pretty shallow. Even when the water temps are cold, if you get a sunny day, especially, and it's, you've got a warming trend, whether that's from warm rain or that's from the water 
um, just getting heated by the sun, being still and the sun just heating it. Now, if it's super windy and you get a sunny day, it really doesn't warm the water up much because the water's staying stirred, stirring that cold water up. If you get a few still days and they're real sunny and it's warming up, now that can heat the water up quick, especially that really shallow water up by those rocks. So I think there's these fish that are moved up right now, since it's so early, I feel like these are just the fish that live in this creek. These aren't fish that have already moved in here and they're thinking about, you know, pre-spawning, getting ready for the spawn or anything like that. They're still a long ways away from that. These are fish that live in here. And on a warm day, when they can absorb some warmth, they're going to, whether that's influx of rain or the sun, like I said, so. You don't catch a ton of numbers, but if you can find the right little stretches where those resident fish have pulled up in a creek and they're just up there kind of warming themselves in the winter, you can have a just crazy good day like we had the other day. Slugged it. Ah, oh, that's a nice one. Maybe you are. Oh, them old red lips. Them old red lips. They're roughing around in the rocks. Let's put the spot lock down so we don't blow away here. Oh, come here. How about that one? How about that one, boys and girls? Chomping on that little John again. I mean, he slugged it too. Quality chunks. Just gotta like it. Just getting down there, winding it slow, maintaining contact, feeling your bait. That one actually knocked about three feet of slack in it. So, I mean, if you think they're cold water, they won't do, they won't charge a the bait. They won't get active and get hustling. They will. I mean, you don't want to wind it super fast, but you want to get their attention, don't be afraid that they're not going to come run it down. And when they want it, they're going to run it down. So that's a nice one. We'll get them back in the water. 